I know I'm late to the party, but I really wanted to do this video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do a dedicated video on my console one MK3, which is absolutely amazing. So much there would be to say about this thing is so much better than the previous one. Everything is from the build quality, how it feels, all the new features and talking about new feature. This is what this video is about. Console one now can control fab filter plugins and UAD plugins. And that's exciting for sure, even though for me, I don't use that many fab filter plugins. I use the DS or the gate and pro NB, but I do use a handful of UAD plugins. So I'm still excited about this, but what I'm way more excited about is the new preamps in console one MK3 because they sound freaking awesome. And I'm going to show that to you today. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss West TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below. Very important because UAD is doing a great sale right now. Softube as well, so you will find the links to free plugins, special discounts and offers. Visit the new website mixwesttv.com for all the mix and mastering courses on many different genres, start to finish. A new one just released, Mastering Alt Rock, featuring Easy T's latest single and a new one, Mastering R&B, will be released in two weeks. In there you can also book all the other services, mixing, mastering, private lessons and meets consultations. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's go. All right, first thing, let's take a look at the new plugins. This is the console one interface. And now if we go, for example, on the shape section, we can see we have the usual soft two plugins. And then as we scroll, in my case, I have FabFilter Pro DS and FabFilter Pro G. We can open one and take a look. We have our high pass filter, low pass filter, threshold and range, just like the FabFilter Pro DS. Same for the G. We can quickly switch to it and we can see the parameters. Same range, attack, release and threshold. And then if we go to the EQ section, again, we have all the soft two plugins. And then as we scroll down, I have Fel Filter Pro Q3. We can take a look. In this case, it retains the console one graphic, but it is Fab Filter Pro Q3. In fact, we have at the bottom bell, low shelf, low cut, high shelf, high cut, notch, band pass, and the two tilt filters, just like Pro Q3. And then I also have others. If we scroll down, we have the UAD Century Tube Equalizer, which is actually a nice plugin. I'm going to play something with it. I have this on the snare. Quite a nice EQ, by the way. And then I also have the uh, UAD Pultec EQP1. So same. We have all the controls here. The Pultec Mid EQ, you can take a look at the controls. We have the three controls again with the frequency selection and the dip, just like the Pultec. If we go on the compressor section, I have Pro C2. We can take a look at it, attack, ratio, release, threshold. And if we press the shift button, we have all the styles, clean, classic, opto, mastering, vocals, and so on. The knee and wet and dry and makeup which can be automatic or you can adjust it manually. Same goes for all the others. I have Pro L2, which is cool to have it here as a limiter, especially in this section at the end of the chain. If you want a little bit of limiting, you don't have to open another plugin. And then I also have the UAD. So uh, 1176, uh, revision E, AE and revision A. We can actually take a listen on this on the snare. This is cool because if we scroll through the ratios, we have 4, 8, 12, 20, and then all the combination for the push button. So 4 plus 1, uh, 8 plus 12, and all the combination for the all button mode. And then I also have the 175B, 176, which is also a great compressor. Century tube compressor, empirical lab distressors. This is also very nice to have it here. We have again, attack ratio release. And if we press the shift, we have all the other functions and all the other option of the real distressor. So the detector selections and also the distortions, distortion two, distortion three, and all the combination with the HP, wet, dry, auto gain. This is pretty awesome. 
Uh, also LA-2A, we have all the LA-2A controls plus the emphasis here, comp limit, and then peak reduction. And I don't think I have anything else, but yeah, you, you can see you have all these plugins now that can be controlled with uh, console one, which is awesome. Now, the preamps. If we go here in the preamp section, you can see that now we have the Core Suite Modern plugin, Core Suite Tape, the new Core Suite Modern preamp, which is one of my favorites. It has a really gentle lift at the top end and it sounds awesome. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. We have the Core Suite Tape, which we had before. We now have the new uh, Core Suite Vintage preamp, which sounds really cool. All three types of uh, tape. So if you picture the soft tube tape machine plugin, the dedicated one, these are the three types from that plugin. We also have, I personally also have the UAD Century 2 Pre and the uh, Oxide Tape. If you have more, they will show up more. So here's the test. I already put uh, an instance of console one on this rough mix and it's just a test mix but I put one instance of um, console one. Let me bypass it right now. And this is the mix. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna activate all the console one. I'm gonna group them together. I am going to change preamp of all the tracks at once. So keep an eye here where it says modern preamp right now. I'm gonna group the tracks, make sure everything has the same and change the preamps as we go so you can hear the overall effect on a full mix. And it's really, really cool. That's pretty cool. Before commenting on the preamps, I'm gonna do the same, but on a full mix so you can further hear the differences and learn how this preamp sounds. This is our goodbye, my love. This is last sunrise, my love. This is my start of us, love. This is trust I come by, love. I'm sick. Love this game, I'm sick, let me, let me hate, let me off the crazy train. I'm sick of your face, I'm sick of heartache.
monster of strange Sick of heartache You make my heart break This is your today, my babe This is the bitter taste, my babe This is what heartache is, my babe This is true hate for my babe You're sick of my mouth you're sick of my, of my doubt You wanna play games in peace You're sick of my tears You're sick of getting caught, my dear all right so i think it's a it's very very cool i love these new preamps i love the preamp the core suite tape uh, at the beginning when the console first came out but this new selection it, it's really a game changer i absolutely love the core suite preamp it has that nice top lift which sounds very very natural it sounds very open you heard some of them like for example the core suite tape and the tape b have a bigger low end that kick was coming out the, the bass was coming out and then there's some others like the century 2 pre and the uh, course with vintage vintage they really are vintage in the strict sense of the world there's a roll off at the top a lot of uh in, <coughs> there's a roll there's a nice roll off at the top there's a lot of low mid energy in one a little higher mid energy in the other i really love them oxide tape is also very interesting i can totally see that being a sound for like anything lo-fi or indie rock and genres like that pretty much like tape c i love tape c probably not to put on every track is the only one that i wouldn't put on every track because it's that uh, this weird mid-range which can be interesting in some tracks but and on the full mix you heard the differences are consistent with the multi-track console one it really <laughs> is the gift that keeps on giving but yes i really wanted to do this video because i absolutely love console one i've been using the previous version since the previous version on every mix every time is literally console one is the core of my mixes has been for years at this point i basically almost do everything with it and then the rest is hardware and effects like delays and reverbs and stuff like that the fact that now i can also control uh, those other plugins is amazing these preamps are definitely an added value and the update was free which again <laughs> it's pretty crazy and the new console one the mk3 is a fabulous machine with the display the touch sensitive control eventually i will do a video at this point because i'm late uh, even though i got the first one in the wild i will probably do a roundup video what was my experience with the new one after several months of having it maybe the comparison with the previous one which i still have it's at my new studio here in la at the second studio bunker recording studio by the way book your recording session there i put the link down below we still use the previous version there anyway this is it for this video let me know if you use console one if you like it what you would like to see as an update in the comments down below let me know what you think about these new preamps and the controls for third-party plugin if the videos on the channel are helping you please consider using the super thanks or grab some merch by the way i posted this on instagram if you want me to do a live stream analog talk since we got a lot of new analog pieces let me know in the comments down below if you want me to try to plan a live stream where we are going to talk about analog and the various differences we can go in detail on that click the join button to access the exclusive videos here on youtube that's where the good stuff is visit the new website mixwestv.com to book all the services mixing mastering private lessons mix consultation of course all the mix and mastering courses start to finish please share bella kelly's new single goodbye available on all platforms that would be much appreciated thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already stay safe see you next time Hands on my